In Beijing, the State Council has appointed former Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Chunying as the nation's vice foreign minister. Hua has worked in the Foreign Ministry for over 30 years and served as its spokesperson for more than a decade. Timothy Lee tells us more. 54-year-old Hua Chunying assumed the position of Foreign Ministry spokesperson in 2012 and is the fifth woman in the nation's history to serve in that post. Over her years of media exposure in the ministry, Hua became famous for some of her statements. Such as in late 2020, when she responded to accusations of China's alleged wolf warrior diplomacy. She stressed it does not matter if others give China that label, as long as the nation is striving to defend international peace and justice. In 2018, Hua responded to foreign media reports about China spying on former U.S. President Donald Trump on his iPhone. The former foreign ministry spokeswoman said Americans' concern about being spied on via their Apple-made phones should consider switching to using their Huawei counterparts. Hua also called out the U.S. government's positive statements on the 2019 riots in Hong Kong and compared them to the January 6th riots in Washington, D.C. in 2021. In October the same year, Hua was promoted to Assistant Minister of Foreign Affairs and was responsible for media, guest and translation work. She began to post more on social media about her work and showcase China's soft power. Some of her posts include a photo of President Xi Jinping during his visit to the U.S. in his younger days, as well as a video of Peng Liyuan, President Xi's wife, during her visit to France. Hua was born in Huai'an City in Jiangsu Province in 1970, where her father served as a former secretary of the Chinese Communist Party. After graduating from Nanjing University with a bachelor's degree in English in 1992, Hua joined the foreign ministry and was stationed in countries such as Singapore and in Europe. Hua is the third woman to assume the position of Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs after Wang Hai Rong and Fu Ying. Timothy Lee, TVB News.